and a one, and a two, and a one, two, three. Perfect. That was, that that was, that was so crispy. Solid. <laughs> Still yeah. got it. Ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome to another episode of Man Child Support with Joe and Joe. Special guest, Dr. Brooks over here, oh, Dr. Wow. Dr. Trey Brooks. Um, we hope you guys enjoy this episode, whatever we talk about. We're going to keep it around like an hour, 50 minutes, so put us in your back pocket if you got YouTube or maybe even on Instagram if this is like a cool segment that you guys want to listen to. Um, hope that you're having a lovely day. Hope that everything is going okay. Mm -hmm. And without further ado, let's get into some man-child support with my guys. And, yeah, sick. So, nice. um, as, as is the tradition that was started last week, we usually go to Vernon Diner, the local place um, in town, get a cup of coffee, maybe some food, and then we talk about our lives, kind of catch up, and then we come back here to do a podcast. So, I kind of like the tradition. It's very nice. Um, so yeah, so what's up guys? What do you guys want to talk about? We could do some deep cuts, we can do some light stuff. Last week we talked about relationships, um, pretty much my relationship mm. um, with people and, and women and things like that, how I had to be Vegeta and not Yamcha. Yeah, sure. yeah. Mm -hmm. how I had to, because like Joe made a really good point where he was like, Jordan, every single other aspect of your life, you are Vegeta. You know, you are you just are, not in the yeah, just relationships not, not in relationships. Man. Honestly, I'm kind of the same way too. I'm really wondering why. Yeah, you know, it's, it's weird. Yeah, cause like it's I like, can't for some reason. It's like I'm like the 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 Chad Ultra Alpha, just Chad in all aspects of my life. Yeah, when it comes but to but I'm a simp beta cuck in uh, relationships. I don't. And I, I don't get it. It's it a is weird. It's now let me ask you this: uh, uh, dichotomy. Yeah. yeah. Are you the are you the uh, beta simp, whatever, uh, be, even though you're trying not to be, or is that due to your own lack of effort? I think it's mostly due to lack of effort. Okay, so then, uh, I don't think you really are a genuine, uh, simp cuck. A virgin, slumped over, walking mm -hmm. meme. I think it's more of just like a, what's a, what's a good... What I'm saying is, if you... the mindset, really. Yeah. 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 Just, if you yeah. really wanted a lady, you, mm -hmm. you could have one. Well, now I'm kind of at that point where I'm just like, it, I don't care anymore. Fair enough. So exactly. It's just like, well, I was saying, I was saying before, it was just that it was just kind of my mindset. That makes sense. Very much like simping after people. I feel that, man. Yeah. I mean, I I, I pine for people. Yeah. I, I'm I'm Fair starting much. to less. Mm -hmm. Um, but as much as that is a, that is a thing, I I really do have to focus on myself. But something that I actually kind of want to bring up. Um, I was wondering what what you guys' opinion is on this. Uh, the whole idea that you you need to fully be whole, you need to be at a hundred or at a hundred percent or as close to it as you can, before you can kind of try to find another person. If you kind of get where I'm going with this, mm -hmm. like the the whole idea that you need to you need to be fully yourself, you need to be in love with your life, and another person is just like the extra hundred percent or ten percent even on top of that that makes it better. I'm sure that that, in my opinion, is a better system, but sometimes, mm -hmm. just like with relationships in general, and it could be friendships, they don't necessarily have to be romantic, um, it, it, it can help to have another person there, yeah. you know, just to kind of help get you there, almost like a jet pack or with some extra fuel in it. Yeah. So, I don't know, opinions. And excuse me for two seconds, my vape died, and I have a nicotine addiction, so yes. I mm -hmm. need to go... All right, Joe, we got, we got to carry this. Right back. So, uh, yeah, do, you, do you want to go first? Because I, I have my own kind of opinion on it, but I want right. to hear your take first. So, uh, the idea of relying on yourself to make sure that you're whole or striving to be as whole as you can be, uh, I do think that that's a good mental frame to start with. Mm -hmm. But um, I feel like you shouldn't let that uh, ephemeral goal kind of be like a carrot in front of you while you chase it because if you really want to be in a relationship but you're like holding that goal post in front of you of like wholeness mm. like you're never going to get there yeah. because you couldn't get the people who are like in a relationship or not who to you are as whole and like as um actualized and developed as a human could possibly get yeah. but like to them maybe they're still not that way but like they're still in a good relationship so people are should be striving to for like improvement whether they're in a relationship or not yeah. sure um like it's good to have self-awareness before you jump into a relationship 
and armed with that self-awareness, address the things you have to so that, you know, you don't have to cause strife onto your potential partner. Um, And I think that's the main, uh, you know, core of what people say, mean when they say that kind of thing. Mm. Um, But yeah, you can, it's okay to like, uh, you know, work on yourself while you're with someone. Just understand that um, it's not their job, it's yours. And Mm -hmm. if you're mature enough to understand that and, you know, not expect too much out of the other person, then uh, I don't see the problem of uh, being in a relationship with someone while you're still working on yourself. Mm -hmm. Because you could be working on yourself or not, but then if, you know, fate or the universe gives you an individual that you click with, um, let it happen. That's sure. what I say. Yeah. yeah. I 100% agree. Mm-hmm. That was kind of like the same lane I was going to go with. I was more, yeah, I was just going to say more just like, I think the way I look at it, it's like you, you pretty much attract what you are in a lot of ways. Very true. So it's like, say, for example, like if you're working on yourself, then it's like you're going to attract things that would amplify that thing or that kind of, that goal in mind. Mm-hmm. So I think when it comes to like relationships, I think like if you, if you're, if you're genuinely working, gen, yeah, genuinely working on yourself, then in a lot of ways you're kind of, you're kind of removing any sort of blockages and kind of just allowing this other element, i.e. this person to kind of come in and not complete you because I think that whole idea is stupid, but just like... I really do think so as well. Just, just, or not, yeah, like not completely, but just kind of help you along in that journey. Yeah. You know? And I also think the the opposite is true too. It's just like if you're trying to work on yourself or, or like you're just like, oh man, like I really need to be in a relationship. It's like you attract like that sort of blockage as well. It's like you're in a relationship, but like, oh man, it sucks. Yeah. Like, now I have all these other headaches. Yeah. It's like, well, that's essentially what you asked for. Mm-hmm. You know, you may not realize it, but it's just like... In a way... You... In, yeah, like, in a way, it's like you're kind of attracting... Uh, I mean, it all kind of leads toward the end goal, towards the same end goal. It's just that I think it depends on specifically how... Specifically the kind of energy you put out there. Fair enough. Like, usually, you know, it's kind of like the same goes. Like, you know, you, if you're someone who's toxic, you're going to... Attract more, most likely attract attract a toxic certain person. toxic behaviors or certain toxic people into your life. It's true, and then obviously the opposite is true too. Like if you're, if you genuinely want positivity and like self love and just like that kind of stuff, it'll come. Like it'll it'll come too, and mm-hmm. it you know it depends. It always depends. True. I think it's just whatever. I I'm a big believer in just whatever you put out there, it comes back to you, yeah. and sometimes pretty apparent ways and other times pretty subtle ways. More subtle ways. Yeah. Yeah. Like, I wrote this line of poetry, um, which is one of my favorites, and it was, you know, about this, oh, sorry, it was Mm -hmm. about this future partner that I I hope to have, this anima Mm -hmm. or this this whatever, Mm -hmm. this person that I hope to find or help hope that they reveal themselves at some point in time. Um, It was a missing piece to a puzzle complete, a frame by any other name for my life's art piece. Mm. So it's almost like, you know, the puzzle itself is complete, but you're just kind of like the frame to, to hold yeah. to hold it and to display it and to, you know, for my life's art piece. Yeah, like I think that's a healthy way to kind of go about it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because you can always, like the frame can, in theory, I guess, complete a piece, but it's not needed. It's necessarily. not necessarily needed. Like you, you know? can just have the piece there and it's... To, still complete and valid in its own right. Very true. Just I the, think it's also... The frame just adds something. It's basically. also important to remember that, like, we're on our mid-20s, right? So, mm-hmm. biologically, this is the time in our lives where we are built and designed to be the horniest. Right? Every day, dude. 24 so, has been the horniest year of my existence. <laughs> so, 24 has been the horniest year of my really? existence. Oh, my God. It's Can ridiculous. we really... It's just, it's just how we I think for me it was 22. Yeah. Fair enough. Yeah. Fair enough. Yeah. So... Uh, it's just the way that the universe built us, so, Mm -hmm. um, we, it's not even worth getting down and out about. Yeah. It's just, uh... I just hope it fucking calms down. I'm like, shit. Oh, well. Why? I think it will. So, Um, I feel, I think I'm pretty kind of... Calming down? Yeah, Yeah. a little bit. What's that fucking meme from The Simpsons, I think? It's like, I no longer wish to be... Horny. Yeah. I just want to be happy. <laughs> I just want to be happy. Yeah, no, uh, you remind me of that, like that Doge meme, where Which it's one? like, um, it's like, 
made all liquidy and then it's like yep. made to be sad and it's just yep. the doge looking at the audience and then it says I don't want to be horny I don't want to be horny anymore <laughs> but it's true yeah. or like I'm that like, Carl yeah. uh that Carl Weezer meme. Which one? Where it was just like, it's on YouTube, where it's just like, I don't, like, in the, literally in the Carl Weezer yeah. voice from Jimmy Neutron. Uh-huh. It's like, I don't want to be warning anymore. Yeah. I want to be happy. I want to be happy. <laughs> like, and that's, it's kind of like, true, fucking same, bro. It's, it's just like. Yeah, it's kind of true. At the end of the day, you know, you know, having sex and all that, it's, it's great, but I would much rather have sex with the person that I care about and that's like there mm-hmm. and that's, I, I fully want to be with, that I'm not thinking about this, that, and the other thing yeah. or how, it's, ugh, I, I've done enough of that and it's, it's not the best for my own mental health and my own, uh, to some extent, physical health and stuff yeah. like that, you know, it, it can be tough, but fuck, you know, it, it, it can indeed suck, but I'm, I'm glad that, nice. I'm glad that uh, yeah, it's the mood lighting. Yeah. Uh, that I'm kind of, I hope and knock on wood that I'm kind of over that hill. Yeah. You know, deleted Tinder, deleted Hinge, and all the other oh, stuff. Yeah. You deleted it for a whole 40 minutes. I deleted it for 40 minutes, redownloaded it, but it's been a week. So, you know, it's been like all a right. week or so. All right. Okay. Yeah. But I think, I think for this time it's good, man. Because I, well, at least for a long time, um, or at least a longer span of time. Because yeah. honestly... You know, I wasn't meeting, like Joe said, like, we had this whole conversation, and he was like, I have a list in my room, on my altar, um, about, like, uh, the reasons why the woman that I hope to reveal herself, or etc., however you want to put it, you know, will find, uh, would not be on Tinder, or something like that, you yeah. know? Because in, like, the realest sense, it kind of is a hookup app. It, it very much is. Pretty much like, is, dude. Yeah, yeah. and uh, I, I'm, I'm very much done with yeah. with all that, you know. It, it doesn't lead to good results yeah. in my experience. I just think it, it kind of it kind of just comes to you when you least expect it. it, is it isn't think, it just the way? It's isn't just that just the, the fucking way? Yeah. It's just, yeah. yeah. And it was like I was saying earlier, it's just yeah. might as well just enjoy being single and just having your time because... Mm-hmm. Sooner or later, someone's gonna come in. Someone's gonna like, come in. They're not gonna want to let go, dude. They're <sighs> they're just they. Or don't. maybe it's you that's not gonna want to let go. Fair or it way. could be both of us that don't want to let go. So it's like, yeah, exactly. That's why I'm just like, might as well just enjoy the freedom. And even then, I don't like saying that, but it's just like it's kind of true. But it's it just is like enjoying it is. the single life or having your own kind of shit going on. Yeah. While it lasts, kind of thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I just think a lot of. It, it, like I kind of had that epiphany like um, pretty recently like I was talking to like a good friend of mine like we were out getting drinks mm-hmm. and like he was also the same way it's just like it's like yeah I'm kind of done with it's Tinder so and just done, like all man. stuff and I'm just like yeah dude just like uh, it's a waste of time like it's yeah. just it you know mm-hmm. it's just a waste of time it's like you I might so. you're better off just putting your energy towards like something that's just gonna help you in the long run exactly versus, just like kind of in the moment like I need something right now and honestly the, and it's tough like I yeah, get sure. it yeah. yeah the the biggest reason why because like I'll just be at work and I there's a decent amount of downtime at work mm-hmm. and I just realized like I'm just kind of bored and it just is just kind of like it's, it's, it's boredom yeah, yeah. It, literally I have to be entertained and what's the word um it's the emotional equivalent of going to the fridge when you're bored and eating yeah exactly just like there's nothing else to do there's not really any good food here no offense but like there's not really any good food here and just like yeah might as well eat some fucking toast um mm-hmm. but yeah um I honestly think that all right cool I honestly think that um that it's it's really like Joe said uh long ago like it's really not worth it no. Um, in the long run, I definitely do believe like what you said. Like it's just gonna happen, you know. You're just gonna kind of yeah. look down. I'm kind of at day. that point where I'm just like, yeah, it's gonna happen, but mm-hmm. it's not gonna happen because I'm forcing it. It's gonna happen because I continuously just like, like I just continuously just like just do my thing and mm-hmm. I fucking slap hard at Every everything day. that I do. Every and day, I just fucking. Every day, and like I just, I'm just fucking awesome, and it's just like I just continuously just fucking go ham yeah and then eventually someone's just gonna come in and be like i want that mm-hmm. so it's just like it, it, it's just what what whatever you're putting out there exactly you know? yeah like i was talking uh one of my friends who lives in new haven um her name is jd mm-hmm. um she was actually the person that I, I connected you with and i hope you guys are talking if not i would i would i would reach out if not i'll reach out because i feel like you two would be some pretty good minds to... yeah anyway Ooh. yes still alive Sorry. Yeah. still alive yes. still alive um, just need that that period at the end. Exactly. Okay. Yeah. Um, 
But yes, so we were talking and she made a good point where she was like, um, you know, you're going to be doing, like kind of what you said, you're going to be doing your thing. You're going to yeah. be living life and putting energy into things that make you happy. And then all of a sudden the person is going to walk by. Just going to come in. And, then, and they're going to see you and fall in love with you falling in love with your own life, your own story, yeah. your, your, you being the protagonist in your own line, exactly. you know, or in your own play or in your own, your, your own, your own yeah. story. And that's honestly what I would want, because yeah. a relationship truly is two beings coming together, you know, whether it be friendship or whether it be, yeah. you know, more romantic or et cetera. It could mm-hmm. just be even be you and, you and a pooch, you know? It, it's two people coming together or a group of people coming together and finding love and common mm-hmm. interests and still living their own separate lives, you yeah. know? And it's cool. I also think it's important, too, and, yeah, just, like, kind of piggyback off what you're saying, just also mm-hmm. just, like, finding value and just, like, just friendships in general every day dude just because like I, I just i just think everyone's just it seems like everyone's just really lonely and yeah. it's just like yeah they they like just that need for just more but also just which i understand mm-hmm. but i think just finding value and just like love in yeah. friendships and mm-hmm. platonic relationships or really any relationships i think that that'll help Oh my god! Or it yeah. should help. Yeah, I definitely think so. You know, because it's it's almost it's not like training wheels, like in a bad sense, but yeah. it's almost like training wheels, where it's like it helps you learn more of yourself, more of how to talk and communicate with yeah. people properly, not properly, but like, you know, yeah. effective, not even effectively. That's not a good word. In a I'm, way that works for you, so. exactly with love yeah. as yeah. well. You know, and I understand there's a difference between like me saying I love I love you to my friends versus me saying I love you to someone that I'm actually partner, yeah kind of but it's just like it's all it's the same it's still the same it comes from the same place you know what I mean every day dude yeah every day so. love is a fantastic emotion yeah. and I'm happy that we as humans and even dogs and birds and trees to some extent dog dog can all experience it love is a beautiful emotion yeah. you know the fact that you can be just so in love with someone and it doesn't even have to be romantic it can just be like it's like dude you're just like you with the news that you gave like dude it's fucking awesome it's it's some sick. fucking dope can't shit can't say what it is can't say but what it is it's, but it's, it's, some really, it's, it's pretty dope shit it slaps pretty hard not yeah lie. no fucking doubt dude I'm like, so like I'm in love with that it's, yeah. it's, it's amazing I'm so happy for you and it's like it's stuff like that where it's just yeah where it's just like it it's reinvigorating for yeah. me. It's just like it lets me know that like, shit. Like yeah, like I am like that guy, and like I'm doing. I'm no, you doing are some, the guy. You are the guy. The guy, yeah. Or Trey like Brooks, doing, artist. Like, uh, where it's like I'm doing shit that's actually validating. Exactly. And it's just like yeah. And it's the echo is finally yeah. kind of coming back. And what's to you. and it's even funnier because I remember I distinctly remember I think on Wednesday. Yeah. It wasn't Wednesday. It was yesterday. Oh. It was either yesterday or Tuesday. Yeah. Pretty sure it was Tuesday. Right. Where I actually, I wrote in my journal. Mm. Um, or do I have? Uh, I have my journal in the car, but I'm not going to run over and grab it. It takes too much. But basically, I was just writing my journal. Just kind of, I like to kind of write, like, uh, just like kind of updates for myself for some real reason. It's just good. Like, just things that have been going on. Just like, yeah, just like working, blah, blah. It's good habit. But I distinctly remember... I wrote something and actually went out of my way to highlight it, where it was like, to kind of paraphrase, it was like, yeah, work is cool, like, everything is pretty good, but honestly, I need more excitement in my life, like, more mm-hmm. specifically more art-related excitement, mm-hmm. and I literally, like, wrote that sentence in bold letters, mm-hmm. even went so far as to highlight it. I couldn't tell you why I did it, I just did it. Felt right. And then, sure enough, today. Yeah. And I was just like, there it is. Like, I literally just put it out Isn't there. manifestation a fucking crazy thing? Yeah. Manifestation and affirmations, man. Exactly. Like, literally like what you're saying. You put positivity out into the universe, you will get positivity back. Exactly. Equally, you put negativity out into the universe. And so I think see. it'd be a good idea to let the audience know what a manifestation and affirmation is. Sure. Yeah, yeah why, why not? not? Okay, so manifestation and affirmation. Affirming things into the universe. Saying, I will receive this, you know. It's almost like the universe, to some extent, is in why is like a, a blanket. It's like the dream I had. Well, about the money. Yeah. That we were talking about before. Do you want to? Do you want to? Yeah. Go for yeah. It. So I had a dream. That Jordan was there. Hi. And uh, I remember there being like a. How black... come I wasn't there? You might have been actually. <laughs> you were there in yeah, spirit. Like, I'm yeah. kidding. Yes. <laughs> so like it was, uh, you know, had this black and white checkerboard floor with like these big velvet curtains and like these uh, marble white and gold columns and. Everyone was dressed to the nines, and it was like a casino place. Mm-hmm. 
So then you walk into this other room, and then, like, they got slot machines and poker tables, right? Mm-hmm. But, like, they also had, like, rides. Mm. So the, the ride I went on was, like, a, it was, like, so big. It was, like, a highway system. Um, like an interstate, like, uh, you would see in downtown Hartford, but you would just go on your belly and you would slide everywhere. And then like, I went on like the New York exit to like, I don't know. And then I'm like, oh my God, wrong exit. I have to figure out like how to get back. Mm -hmm. But then like, I'm going through this like conveyor belt system and all of a sudden I start seeing like these pools of like money and like these faucets that like have coins leaking out like big silver coins are all shiny and newly minted Mm -hmm. and then like i look down and then like i'm in this like small pool of like cash that's just getting like splurted out scrooge and then and then yeah so (laughs) then i start to see like it's like a water slide with like hundred dollar bills and then i'm like and then i'm like "Uh, i guess i'm supposed to take them so like and then i put them in my pocket and then before i know it like the ride's over and then like i'm just standing there and then i'm just walking around and then like you're doing your thing but then it's time to leave so then we leave, and then uh, everything's all said and done. And the whole time I'm thinking, wait, they got all that on camera, didn't they? Shouldn't like a staff member be like, hey, you got to give the money back? Or is mm-hmm. like, no, they're just letting me have it. So then I'm like, well, if dreams mean anything, then I'm pretty sure that dream means that I'm going to run into some money. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. Could also mean that the way I kind of interpret it, sure. sort of hearing it, it could also mean that you're pretty, it seems like you're pretty content yeah with sort of life or just like material things or just like or whatever you got going on i definitely it could could also it could also be that too like it could mean a million different things but that's kind of what popped into my mind well in terms of like being content i don't feel like i'm going without anything Mm -hmm. like uh you don't don't have a need for right like there's nothing that like i need to go out and get or buy or Mm -hmm. like it's like Oh, someone might want, like, a private chat, or someone might want, like, a... But you're kind of content, like, where you are. Yeah, it's like, what the fuck am I going to do with a chat? I don't need no fucking chat. Mm -hmm. And then it's the same with, like, anything else. Like, I have have my job, it's got all the... I got all the money I need, and then, uh... I got my dog, I have AC in the house, I have food, and then... I got friends, so... Places to drive at night, Mm -hmm. and it's... yeah. Yeah, I think, like, in the dream, like, you taking the money, and then just being, like... Oh, they're they're not gonna stop me or whatever. Like, all right, cool. They just mm-hmm. keep moving. Yeah, that to me kind of, it kind of speaks to that. Or it's just like, you don't need anything else. Or like, you're not kind of tied down by any sort of external thing. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So that's kind. Yeah, that's kind of how. I read. Yeah, the money is free and not free. Well, actually, yeah, it would be free and available. Free, you know, free and available. Yeah, but that goes back to like the manifestation. Like, so that's like, yeah. it's exactly. like a mindset of like abundance, right? Yeah, and it doesn't necessarily have to be in strictly monetary sense. It could just be yeah. abundance of spiritually. Yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah. So manifesting. Yeah. Bringing things into existence, speaking things into existence. You know, my mom has always said, "Life and death are in the power of the tongue." And the power of what? The power of the, the tongue. tongue. The you tongue. Know, oh. The power of the tongue. You I think know? said tongue like T U N K. I'm like, what is that? I had no idea. The tongue. The tongue. The tongue. <laughs> the, the, the tongue. A truck. The... Um, but yeah, uh, it, it, if you say like, I will be rich. I will be wealthy. I will be happy. Even just saying, I will be happy. Like, okay, great example. Mm-hmm. Today, um, I, I I did a I did a psychedelic. I did mushrooms. Allegedly. Yeah, allegedly. Thank you. I, I ate some I ate some shiitake mushrooms. They were very delicious. And for whatever reason, these shiitake mushrooms um, <laughs> made me feel very sad inside. Mm. You know, it was all right. the the beginning The beginning segment was pretty cool, but then I kind of felt sad. And this has happened before, where I did it, and then it was like you know I just felt like shit. And I usually do one thing, which is I I. Uh, take some melatonin just to kind of fall asleep, and I turn on Afro Samurai. Mm. That is that is my sad day schedule, where I just get some melatonin so I can fall asleep, and I turn on Afro Samurai because I know every single well, not every single line, but it is my comfort movie for whatever yeah. reason. Um, and I remember last time I did it, I, I ate these shiitake mushrooms. Uh, I, I felt very sad. I just kind of wanted to go to sleep, and it wasn't a good vibe. I didn't feel good about myself, and it was almost like this this other force was kind of coming out and kind of showing its head, like all of the sad nasty emotions that kind of dwell within Mm -hmm. but this time i wasn't having it i was like you know what even if i have to force positivity into existence even Mm -hmm. if i have to like inject it like you know whenever the bad thought or the intrusive thought will say comes in 
and is like, you know, you're a piece of shit, or you're this, or you're that, or whatever it wants to say. I, it's just reminding yourself, no, I'm a good person. You know, I'm loved, and I am loved, and all of this stuff, you know, or maybe not today, or maybe not tomorrow, or maybe not this, but you are good. And I ended up, I told you guys at the diner, it's like, I ended up winning this time, and it was yeah. a beautiful feeling, and I feel amazing right now, because I'm like, Literally, if I just manifest it into existence, if I just try to speak it into existence, saying that I am, I will feel such a way, you know? So, it's kind of like meditation, too, where sure. it's just like you're, you allow the thoughts to come in, but you don't dwell on them. Exactly. You just kind of let them in, you feel them for a bit, and then you just and let it Let go. them flow down the river, yeah. you know? You are not necessarily your thoughts, you know? Mm-hmm. Your thoughts are a separate thing completely. Mm-hmm. You know, they're ideas, in forma- they're ideas in the making, you know? Or they're, they are things that can become real and solid and... Sometimes I feel like I'm so separated from my thoughts. Mm -hmm. Like, if I'm alone in my car, for example, I can talk to my conscious like it's a different person. Like it's a separate entity. So a lot of times I'm talking to myself in the second person. I do that. It is one of the best things. And I can't, even though people are like, you're crazy. It's like, I can't recommend it enough. Yeah. Getting to know yourself and speaking it out, like, you know, how I'm feeling today or how I'm doing this. Or even saying, like, so I speak to myself in the third person personally. Mm. How is Jordan feeling today? Oh, Jordan's all right. You know, he's doing okay. You're hanging out with his friends, stuff like that. Can't recommend it enough. Even just talking to yourself in the mirror, seeing kind of how you look and how you feel. Yeah. Stuff like that. It it helps. I glare at myself in the mirror. (laughs) To each of each, man. To each of each. But yeah, uh, and journaling saved my life. Yeah. You know, journaling saved my life. Every single, well, I try to if I have enough energy, but I got into this really good routine after work. The, the, I work with kids and um, I go to, or they go to sleep at like 9.45, everything kind of settles down by 10, and I'm just kind of sitting in a chair for an hour. And I'll just write in my journal. I'll write about the day. I'll kind of decompress. And it's good to get it out there. It's good to kind of get yeah. all of the stuff that's been going on inside of my head. Even if it is, I usually write it in poetry or poetic prose or whatever. And I just get it out there and I usually record it, usually maybe. But, you know, it's good. It's, it's a really healthy thing. It was the thing that actually saved me to some extent. Yeah. Um, when I was having still manic episodes and doing that entire vicious cycle of smoking weed and doing all of that that I'm sure all of you guys remember. Yeah. Um, I was in the hospital, and there was this dude who came up to me and was like, you know, I think you'd be really good at the job that, not necessarily I'm currently doing, but it got me into a position where I can get a job that I would actually like to do a lot. Sure. Um, he recommended it for me. He was an advocate for me. And he said, you know, the one thing that saved my life is making the bed, make my bed in the morning and journaling. And I have, and it's, it's worked phenomenally, mm-hmm. phenomenally. The fact that you can write down your thoughts and get it all out on paper, or even, I just use my phone, I use the Apple Notes app, yeah. and just getting it all out there and, and feeling like relief that you don't have to think about it anymore, or that it's there, and then the reflection backwards, where I can look up journal entries from like, even, I think it was journaling, like, even like 2016, yeah, stuff like that, and just, you know, was seeing trip, where I was. Like seeing some of the journaling I did back in like... Yeah, 2015. It's literally a time machine or a time capsule. Yeah, it was yeah. like I, f- I randomly just found my notes while I was cleaning my room and I just saw it and I was like, I was like, it really kind of brought me back where it was just, it was a lot of, a lot of dark times. Everybody and it was that. just like, it was, it was pretty, it was admittedly pretty rough, like reading a lot of it, but at the same time, it was also like a weird relief too, where it's just like, well, look where I am today. Mm-hmm. You know, so it's like, Big it's time. Yeah. Big time, man. Yeah, like, I've I've written like I didn't know I was doing it at the time, but I would journal uh, stuff you know, like years ago too. Yeah, and uh, sometimes I look back on it and I look at the stuff I was writing about and I discover the thing I was really worried about at the time because I would do it and like something was weighing heavy on me. Sure, yeah. like it was so much more temporary than what I small thought it would be. Beans, man. Yeah, sure, small man. and uh, <clears throat> but then like the the more general stuff. Um, mm. Uh, I would remember that would be like a common thing, like longer, like uh, uh, not having any clue what I wanted to do with like the future, like being worried about like mm-hmm. a wavering work ethic. But then like now after all this time, I'm like, even that was like something that was temporary because now like I understand how I function and it's mm-hmm. just I didn't give myself that kind of uh, leeway back then. Yeah. yeah. Back then I 
wanted myself to be like a machine, but then now no I'm man is meant like, to be a machine, man. You no. can't do that. No man is meant to be. A machine. Like some sometimes uh, I can get my weight myself to do that, but I just know that it's not like a permanent thing. And it really shouldn't yeah. be. It really shouldn't be life. You should allow life to have a little bit of fluidity and you know yeah. openness to yeah. to whatever happens. Because if you get, I I believe at least if you get too um, scheduled. You know, yeah. there there is an ebb and flow with it. You know, the schedule is good, structure is good. That's yeah. probably the better word. Structure is good, but then you're not allowing new things to come out, come in, new ideas to come in. If you're just painting the same piece or yeah. writing the same thing or working on whatever, it's, it, you know, you're not really allowing new growth to happen. Yeah. So it's good because it keeps you focused, but it also can stifle you. So yeah. it's always a balance, which is the important part. Always a balance. Always a balance. I, I do like just our, our talks, you know? I do like well, uh, well, I think well, here's something I'm curious about. Sure, what's up? So, I was I was just thinking of responsibility because I mm. saw Jade, and then I remembered my dog, and then it's mm. like, oh, I gotta give him medicine, I gotta walk him and feed him, and mm-hmm. then I'm like, oh, well, what's your relationship to, like, the things you gotta do? Like, exactly. do you feel like it takes a, a lot away from you, or can you handle it? It's, a, it's an interesting thing, because a whole lot of my responsibility, personally, relies on money. You know, right now I'm getting paid decently, but I'm not getting paid enough to fully do what I want to do on the timeline that I have right now. But that's also me trying to think like, you know, I'm going to get it all done in 40 seconds compared to, you know, a little bit longer. Um, So right now I have to focus on car payments. um, I have Mm -hmm. to pay rent and I have to make sure that I'm fed and things can get squared away. So responsibility for me tends to rely on monetary stuff. And then, you know, taking care of trucks, taking care of this yeah. new business that I would like to start, taking care of everything like that, you know. Responsibility, in my mind, can weigh very heavily on stuff, you know. Even taking care of my dog, making sure that she gets walked occasionally or fed, and she's like, what do you mean? You don't walk me? And I'm like, I try. I'll let you out. Mm. Um, but, but, yeah, responsibility. I, I, really, I really do think that it, it is important in life to have responsibility I feel like growing up I wasn't given enough of it. I feel like to some extent my parents were taking care of a lot of it and that kind of stifled me a little bit. Mm-hmm. But even at 26, 26, even at 26. You're 26 I'm years 24. old. <laughs> even at 20, I don't know why I was thinking 26. Even at you 24. Scared me, dude. I know I was like what, yeah, the what the fuck? Time skip 2 years. Yeah. <laughs> even at 24, I do feel like I'm slowly kind of getting into the to the to the to the dug or the 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 channel is being carved out deeper of mm-hmm. responsibility. And I just had a really good thought of somewhere I wanted to take this, but um, I don't necessarily know. Let me see. Jade knows. That's Jade a knows. deep grumble, girl. It is. It is. Let me see if I can zoom more. I think she has a, a base <laughs> system oh. installed. I'm glad I forgot because it's the most perfect. Um, zoom out. Responsibility. Yep. Money. Time. Oh. Zoom out. Something about life. I don't know, but it's always about life. Trey, what you got as I try to remember? Because I know you um, have some stuff for this. You definitely yeah. do. Yeah. What you got, man? It's a lot of a lot of like what you kind of have too. It's just like a lot of monetary it stuff. Like, like it's the biggest payments, thing. bills, stuff like that, and then also just like like a good chunk of it is like art related too. Fair. Where it's like our responsibilities to just it it it's kind of like a. It's kind of multifaceted where it's just like I have like a certain responsibility, a certain level of responsibility to other people Mm -hmm. where it's just like they expect, they expect of me like certain things and then it's just like I have to deliver, which I'm not, which is not necessarily a bad thing. It's just that I, that's just kind of the nature of just, you know, kind of how some things are like, especially like uh, working in a, um, you know, like working in galleries and stuff like that. Yeah. So it's like... You have to be there to be on time. It's yeah. I will to, be back. I just need a break. You yeah, no worries. Yeah, you know where I'll be. Yep. Yeah, so it's like a lot of that, a lot of work-related responsibilities. Um, a lot of per, like personal work-related responsibilities, too. Just like kind of letting, you know, just kind of, I'm trying to like give myself time to yeah. just like work on, you know, work on new stuff. And it's really difficult like not having a space yeah. or feeling very limited in space. So I'm very trying much to feel that. So I'm, I'm doing my best to work around that. It's not perfect, but I got a good thing going with that. Yeah. Um, that, yeah, a lot of it for me, it's just a lot of it is just time where it's just, right. I've really come to realize that, uh, especially now that I'm getting older, mm-hmm. where it's just like, I'll be 26 in October. Yes, you will. And it's just like, I'm kind of at that point 
where it's just I can't afford to waste any more time. It's true. Man. Like I've I've I feel like I've reached a point where it's just like okay, I kind of did all the the fuck shit. The I mean, the, I was gonna say even then that sounds stupid, but I was just gonna say like uh, I feel like I'm at I guess I feel like I'm at a point where it's just like that. I can get away with some stupid shit, but it kind of really needs responsibility to slow needs to, down. Exactly. Yeah. The responsibility is more and, weighing on your shoulders. Yeah, and I I guess the the way I think about it is just like I'm kind of I'm really glad I don't have kids. Same. And just like not really committed to anyone right now because Same. there's no way I'd be able to get a lot of stuff done. Mm-hmm. So it's just like mm. Yeah, time is just a big factor where it's just like I have to like pick and choose uh, how I spend my time, where it's like, okay, do I do I work out? Do I uh, sit down, fucking paint for three hours? You know, how many hours? Five hours, whatever. Sure. Do I sleep because I'm really tired after working a ten hour day? Mm. Uh, should I get food because I'm also really kind of hungry and I haven't mm. really eaten today? I just had like whatever water and some fucking snacks that I just haven't scrunched up. Sure. Even though I have the capacity to literally feed myself, I kind of choose the easy way out, which is not really is not really the best for my health. Fast food. Exactly. Yeah, fast food kind of thing, or just like kind of quick, kind of on the go type of thing. Yeah. And that's that's kind of the 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 thing that I'm still struggling with. It's just like I'm very much like ever since college, like I just still just been just on the fucking go every t- every day oh, yeah, and it's too. hard to I, I'm at a point where it's just it's hard to slow it down slow it down like it's almost it's almost like uh, it's almost like you've ever seen crank yep where it's like I need to keep going yeah it's like if you, dude it's like if he stops yeah, if he, he dies. stops he dies so that's literally how I feel some like most days I completely feel like stop that. you fucking die I completely it's just you. like and it, I don't I don't necessarily hate it I just wish I had a better slight I just wish I had a slightly better system going you where I can kind of streamline it a bit more. Yeah. But I mean, it's, it's, I'm, I'm getting there. It's like, it's not, you know, like I said, it's just like, it's, I just wish I had more time and I wish I had more energy. I feel like Energy's a big thing. Like, I just yeah. wish I had more energy. Yeah. It seems like there really isn't enough hours in the day. That was yeah. when I was eating shiitake mushrooms allegedly today. That was one of the, I was talking to a tree, you know, I was, I was looking at it and it came into form or whatever. But, yeah. um, one of the things it said was like, like, or it said through me, whatever, but, it was like, try to be here, you know? Try to just exist in yeah, this moment. Yeah, just being in the present. Yeah, because, dude, yeah. I'm in, like, the same exact position you are, where I'm like, if I feel like, and I, it's a constant talk with my therapist and friends, where it's like, I feel like if I don't keep going, I, I can't have a moment's break. I have to keep, like, from the second I yeah. wake up to the second I go to sleep, right. consistently have to be doing something. And flashing back to Tinder, where it's like, yeah. I can't just sit and just listen to the I sound just, of nature. Yeah, it's hard for me to kind of... have some sort of sit. stimulation just Exactly. Going. Like, that's a big thing for me. Where yeah. It's just like, if if I have nothing going on, mm-hmm. like, that bothers me. Yeah. Like, I need to I need to stay busy. When, like, and I don't know why. I Same here. It's yeah. it's it's just the mentality has been just... Fuck it's been shoved, hammered, hammered into hammered us. Hammered into me since like yeah. I came and I don't even know. Literally, since, dude. Yeah. Literally. And I'm really wondering why. Like yeah. I, I the grass is always greener, obviously. Yeah. But I really wonder, like, how is it possible for me to spend time or what how how can I make it happen where I can actually like even on a vacation, let's say I because I want to drive down to North Carolina. Just one simple question. Yeah. Think Deep down in your heart of hearts, mm-hmm. do you actually want things to change regarding how you feel about like work? I wish I could have more time to sit and think and let things marinate. I wish it wasn't always, okay, what's the next move? What's the next move? What's the next move? What's the next move? Yeah. I really wish I could have time to sit and paint and just exist and listen to nature or just listen to music. Do things that actually, not that work doesn't necessarily give me enjoyment, but do mm. things that actually give me... Well, think me, about what you just said, like, yeah. well, sit down and, like, paint things. That's, like, yeah. still an activity. It's fucking true, man. You're, you're, you're thinking, you're, you're, your break from tasks is another task. Is another task. And it's a crazy system, because, like, okay, let's I say... I would that, argue that's, yeah. like, uh, because you're doing something that fulfills you. Yeah. Big time. So it I fills think your that, pot. I think there's a difference there. It fills your pot, compared yeah. to empty it. Right, you know, because uh, there's this mansion near uh, where I live. It's like a 
historical park. It's called the Wadsworth Falls, the Wadsworth Mansion. Mm-hmm. And uh, in the in the front of the entrance, there's like this green yard thing. And uh, one day I was like after work just driving, mm-hmm. and uh, I just laid down like a starfish in mm-hmm. the middle of that yard. And I was probably there for 20 minutes just staring at the sky. Mm-hmm. And then I've done that kind of thing like on the weekends or like, you know, here and there. True. And then when I'm doing that, I'm thinking, if I was like the richest trillionaire on the planet, I would still be doing this. And that, I think, is the ultimate goal. Yeah. If you have all the money in the world, you have all the time in the world, you, you have everything you could ever need, and you got fucking et cetera, et cetera in the back. Um, all that in a bag of chips, as yeah. my mom says. What would you do with your time? And that's a good question to pose to the group. Yeah. What would you do with your time? I think personally I would try to spend it crafting, you know, making things that make me happy, doing things that make me happy, like painting, working on stuff, getting more into music, definitely getting more into um, social activities, hanging out with my friends more, doing things that actually enrich my life yeah. compared to just kind of suck it or just, just like a vampire just kind of sucks it dry. Mm-hmm. You know, or add stress, you know, spend time driving or just exploring. Yeah. Like with Jank Journal, I want to do the trip around Connecticut where we find cool spots and cool people and do things yeah. like that. Like that's something that I feel like would enrich my life and enrich others around me. So that's something that I would do. But what you guys got? I never know how to answer that question. Fair yeah. enough. Fair enough. What would I do if, uh, if I had Bezos money? If you had all that in the bag of chips, then you could go to space. Oh, uh, well... I just hang out with you more every day, dog. There you go. Um, every day, I would best answer. I try to like see if I could get in front of a camera more, like an audience. I definitely believe that. It's like I definitely uh, believe you'd be good at that. If I could take like classes in like slapstick comedy, mm, and then just like, that. or you know what I I would make those old Joey Karate videos I where I would just this. bust through doors and mm-hmm. yell at people. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I could see that. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I could even do that now easily, well, but I just have to thing, I just have to sit down and like get the logistics down. But see, that's where that's where for me it's yeah. like that's I think that's where it's like I don't know how to answer that question. Oh, you know what I would do? I would rebuild um like the environment I had in art school where I would like make this big building, it's just a big fat studio, and I'd have a big old space for you, Trey Morgan and the mm-hmm. whole fucking squad. And then we, we just all spend all day in there just making shit. That is the goal. That is one of my ultimate goals. But, Trey, I want I you to continue I was just going to say, like, yeah. but yeah, but, like, that, even that, even that, what you just said, like, I feel like that kind of, I don't, I genuinely don't think anything would change for me. And I that is a beautiful like, place to be. I feel like it wouldn't, it's yeah. A beautiful like, place I, to be. Like I said, I, I think that's the reason why I don't know, I, I never know how to answer that question. Because even if I had, like, enough money to, like, mm-hmm. uh, you know, enough money to, you know, do whatever. All that in a bag of chips. It's just like, I don't, I would still be asking the same questions. I, you know, it's just like, I don't, it's, it was, it's never, it's never a thing about money for, like, it is and it isn't. Mm-hmm. Like, it's, you know. Yeah. Like, I have money now, and it's just like, I'm I, still asking the yeah. same questions. The but, reason I asked is yeah. because, uh, I was listening to this one podcast of, uh, this, uh, it was this guy talking to this girl who ran, like, this animal sanctuary. And she was saying a lot of the same stuff you were because she was talking to, like, uh, you know, other people in the field. She was, like, looking up research on, like, the animals she had, talking to veterinarians, um, planning events, doing budgets, the, the stat and the third. Mm-hmm. And then she, um, the guy asked her, would you actually have things different? Like, do you actually want... To not be this way. And then she sat there for a few seconds. She's like, actually, no. Yeah. Honestly, I, I kind of kind of with you. Money solves money yeah. problems. Like, it yeah. doesn't make you happy. No, no, no. So that's no. why I'm just like, I feel like nothing would change. Yeah. Because, like, I, because, yeah, it would be able to help me. Yeah. It would help me. It would take a little bit of stress. It would take a, a lot of stress bit. away. Fair but, enough. <laughs> honestly, yeah. fucking but, same But that's here. what I'm talking about. It, yeah. it solves money problems it doesn't solve life problems that's why mm-hmm. I said I would still be asking the same questions mm-hmm. same life questions mm-hmm. that I'm asking right now yeah. in my waking life yeah in my broke waking in life. my broke waking life <laughs> yeah and I and I feel like the whole broke sh- well I had a, I had a thing that I wanted to say but I'll go with this 
Mm-hmm. I feel like it, even in the broke struggle that we are in right now, mm-hmm. I say this to Kevin a lot, mm-hmm. or me and Kevin say this. It's like we are rich in every other aspect besides money. Yeah. Really, literally <laughs> rich with, with friends, with life, with, with yeah. everything. Rich in every single aspect besides money. And I'm so blessed and happy that I can say that. Yeah. You know? And if money comes in, that's just icing on the cake. Exactly. That's just icing on the cake. Yeah. Because it allows you to do things that you would want to do. like with, More easily. Yeah. yeah. And faster, to some extent. Oh, yeah. But the the point that I wanted to, to say to kind of to kind of go back was, um you know, there was a point in time in my life where I was like, I wish I could go back. I wish I could go back in time and kind of live this life, see kind of mm-hmm. what would happen. But it's getting to a point right now where I'm like, shit, everything is going pretty fucking pretty awesome. Pretty good, yeah. Pretty fucking dope. And... Like, it's almost like, it almost feels like, like, there was like this great mountain pass, and it was like, mm-hmm. what is it? It was like climbing Mount Everest, yeah. but for whatever reason, you found like a shortcut through through Daytona Springs or whatever, like yeah. a very nice sunny beachy spot, yeah. and you just kind of, you can see the top, and you're like, I can't wait to get there, but I'm going to allow myself to enjoy the journey along the way, you know, if, to, to go way back, like, if I never took acid with my ex and developed bipolar disorder and did this and did that and did all of the things that I did to literally lead up lead up to this moment right now mm-hmm. I I don't think I would be any happier if not I, I don't think I would obviously not be where I am but I think the the thing I'm trying to say is I I wouldn't be exactly where I am and I'm so happy where I am I wouldn't have met you guys I wouldn't yeah. have worked at Tivana and made all of the fucking memes and videos I wouldn't have probably got, I actually guy. Yeah, as a boy, fucking boy. Soon. Yes. I always say soon, but coming yeah. through. Uh, I, I wouldn't have met people like Sarah and Kevin and you guys, and I wouldn't have gone to U-Heart. And I, even, yeah. even though there was such tumultuous times, you know, in the past, it is, it is so much worth it for the future. Well, that's kind of like what closure is supposed to, like the idea of closure is supposed to be, is that Word. You, you realize that you can't, you understand that you can't change the past no matter what, but you're at the very least grateful or okay with how things have gone yeah, yeah. you know you, you come to like a consensus that you just like... you just come yeah you just come to the conclusion that like yeah things that happened but you know if i were to change it it's like it arguably would wouldn't make me happy wouldn't make me as happy as i am now literally so it's like yeah so you have to kind of believe like this is might be the best timeline actually yeah you know as much as I would like to, you got the do good ending. That. Yeah, Not the bad essentially, ending. Got the good, ending. Got the good yeah. ending, man. And it's a beautiful thing that we actually get to experience this in this life. You know mm-hmm. that we actually do get the good ending. Yeah. And speaking of good endings, we are at forty-eight minutes, gentlemen. There you go. Would you like to call it? All right. Yeah. I'm sure. Yeah. I'll call. Ladies and gentlemen, actually, yeah, that's you. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this has been episode two of season two of Man Child Support. With your hosts, I myself, Joseph Padilla, Jordan Alexander, and Dr. Brooks, and special guests, Jay to the Dog. The Chuck's mascot. Chuck's mascot. One of them. And we are hoping to see you in the next installment for episode three, the following Thursday. Hopefully. I might be in New York, so we might have to postpone it or do it on Wednesday if you want to. That'll, that, that, might, that just might work. All right, cool. Anyway. Well, maybe I have to skip Art Street and then just do it. Oh, on I was going to do that anyway. Well, Fair enough. Know. Done. Well, Good wishing you and yours a very fine evening. Thank you and good night. Trey, do you have any last messages? Drink more water. And eat more ass? Yeah. <laughs> Harking back. Some things yeah. just never change. They really don't. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for listening to this episode of Man Child Support. I forget what my sign off is. It's an next episode. Thank you for. Oh, that's what it is. Thank you for listening to this episode of Man Child Support with Joe and Joe. We'll catch you on the next episode. Peace. Right. Peace. All right, actually, Joe, do you want to do you want to do you want to clap us out? And a one, and two, and one, two, three. When you recollect upon your past, about your fondest memories, in those memories you were living in the moment. Beautiful. <laughs>